Welcome back to Ansible's everyone. So Lucid Motor is one of the very few stocks that has been holding up pretty strong. I'm going to go over exactly which levels we're trying to hold above from here, what exact indicators will give us confirmation on a continuation from here, and I'll ask in return for all of this as you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that I mentioned throughout the week. So let's move on this one. So I'm going to go to the forward chart with you guys here on Lucid Motors. I'm going to go over two questions. Are we going to break continue highs? And will we break above our previous rejection when we were CCIV, Churchill Capital, the SPAC before Lucid Motors went public? Getting rejected here at $65. Will we break continue highs? And will we break above our previous rejection that we have here at $65 is what I'm going to go over with you guys here. But before we do get started, I want to mention that we do alert penny stock and break alerts of the day. Now we mentioned news in pre-market before market open every single day. We mentioned LGBN yesterday in pre-market on their FDA news designation for the LMSLB drug. Getting a major breakout from $3 in pre-market, jumping all up to $14.75 going to today in pre-market, over 300% on that breakout. And the day before that, we had a major breakout as a new IPO with SEV halted at $15, ended up IPOing at $20, jumping all up to $46 going to extended hours, over 100% on that breakout. And we did mention Rivion's IPO last week at $108, jumping all up to $179 going to this week, over 70% within that one week period. And there's more where that comes from in the Instables room. We mentioned SOPA last week as a new IPO. Holds it at $18.20, jumping all to $77 into the next day, over 300% on that breakout. So if you happen to be interested in intraday perspective breakouts, go to instables.com in the description below, and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So as you guys can see here on the forward chart, again, we had this major spike previously at CCIV, Churchill Capital, the back before we wore Lucid Motors. Had a major spike all the way up to $65. That is a psychological resistance here on Lucid Motors. And as you guys can see, we recently got rejected exactly at about $62. Look at this if we can break into new highs. And as you guys can see, going to today, we did have this nice spike today. Again, we did have the sell-off, but however, we bounced off the 50 to moving average here on the 4-hour chart. And we are bouncing back over the 20, looking to see if we can hold the 20 moving average over the 50 going to next week. And looking to see if we can hold these candles over the 20 moving average going to next week is going to be very key. Now we had this bounce here on the 50 to moving average, looking to see if we can hold over the 20. We do not want to come back down and test the 50 after having this pullback. We want to stay above the 20. And as you guys can see, going to extended hours, we do have the 20 curling up here, looking to see if we can continue to curl up. We are looking to see if we can break over 62 to break continue highs, of course. But we do want to break above our psychological resistance again. Previously asked CCIV, looking to see if we can break over 65. As a very key psychological resistance that we have here with Lucid Motors. And as you guys can see here on the MACD, again, we had this major spike and we did have this major buy pressure come out. But however, as you guys can see, again, we have this bounce here. But however, we don't have as much buy pressure as we're looking for. So we're looking for an increase in buy pressure once the next week. Again, we have this decrease in sell pressure, which gave us that nice bounce today on the 50 moving average, but looking to see if we can hold over the 20. And in my opinion, we are going to be looking to see if we can increase in buy pressure going to next week. If we can break above this momentum here that we had on the spike going to today, Going into next week, then in my opinion, we could have a major continuation break over 65 and possibly head into that $100 range that we're looking for here with Lucid Motors. But again, Lucid Motors will stay on the watch, making sure we do get confirmation here on the MACD. Breaking above our previous buy pressure point is going to be very key to break over 65, in my opinion. If we do not break above that previous buy pressure point and we do break over 65, then we could get rejections to the upside very quickly. So Lucid Motors will be on the watch to look to see if we can hold these candles over the 20 ring average and hold the 20 over the 50 and continue to curl up going to the next week here on the forward chart. And we are going to be looking to see if we can hold over $40 ultimately here on this chart. If we did drop down below $40 and I was swinging this trade, then I definitely would be stopping out here at $40. Again, this is not financial advice. If we did drop down below $40, then we could have a major continuation sell off from there as we do have, again, these rejections to the upside and we have our bounce on our continuation here. Making sure we do stay over $40 is going to be very key here on Lucid Motors if we do come back down. And again, we definitely will be hoping that Lucid Motors does continue to skyrocket, of course. Now, I know the market has been very choppy. Most breakouts have been pre-market news in the open. We mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. And everybody that has been supporting the channel, all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel every single day, much love to everyone of you guys every single day. I appreciate everyone of you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help other you find it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.